There is a question that I make you doubt pastors and Jesus. And that question is, is why do I have to keep going to pastors to figure out what Jesus wants? And the answer to that question is reading your Bible. See, reading your Bible will tell you exactly what Jesus wants. It'll directly tell you what Jesus wants. See, I'm, I'm not saying, see, it's very, very good to have a good pastor, a good biblical pastor. It's very good. It's very good to have a good biblical church. It is very good to have a good Christian community. Those are very good things. But you must also read your Bible on your own because it, it allows you to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. See, praying and reading your Bible, it will allow you to have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. That's what he wants from you. He wants to have an intimate relationship with you. See, let me read Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. Now, how does that verse tie into this? Because you have to seek Jesus. Seek Jesus, and he will reveal to you what he wants. Seek Jesus, and he will reveal himself to you. Seek Jesus, and he will reveal himself. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. He will open up to you. But you have to seek him. You have to knock. You have to go to Jesus. Reading his word, reading his Bible. It's one of the ways he can talk to you. Reading your Bible. See, find the Bible that works best for you. Find the one. Jesus will lead you to it. Pray about it. Pray to Jesus. Hey, talking to Jesus. Praying and talking to Jesus. See, go to him. Seek after him. Chase after him. See, go to Jesus. Read your Bible. Trust me, read it. Then we go to verse 8, Matthew chapter 7, verse 8. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be open. See, go to Jesus. It's telling you to go after him, to seek after him. See, for everyone who asks receives. He will reveal himself to you. He will tell you exactly what he wants if you read your Bible and you pray to him. You talk to Jesus. Get to know him to, and have an intimate relationship with him. See, and the door will be opened. The door will be opened. You just have to knock. And to one who knocks, the door will be opened. So go. Knock to Jesus. Go to Jesus. Chase after him. Seek him. Make him your number one. It's about Jesus. A relationship about Jesus. That's what I'm trying to get at. That's what this whole point of this video is. Is to tell you to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. To talk to Jesus. To read his word. To read scripture. See, if you remember, I talked about one video I talked about. Is it, um, Jesus fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and saying to try to tempt Jesus. What did Jesus use? God's word. That's what he used. God's word. So how much more should we use God's word? How much more should we use scripture? How much more should we do that? Reading our Bible. If Jesus used scripture against sin, how much more should we use scripture? Oh, oh man, a lot more. A lot more than this video can ever okay, explain. See, you're watching this video right now. I recommend turn it off and go read your Bible. Reading your Bible is the best thing. Trust me. Then go to verse 9. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? And then verse 10. Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? Verse 11. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who who ask him, verse 12, so in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 12. Read that for yourself. Pray about it. Talk to Jesus about it. Read it for yourself. These are amazing verses, and I highly recommend you read them for yourself. Remember, for God is with us. He's always with us. He wants to have a relationship with us. So pray. Read your Bible. Memorize scripture. And worship Jesus Christ. For he is God. Seek. And you will find. Knock. And the door will be open to you. Verse 7. Always remember. For God is with us.